Today's devotion is entitled, Where is Christ in the Crisis? There is a lot of problems going on in this world right now, and it affects everyone. We as believers have an advantage because we have God. He is to be at the center of our lives. Why does he allow difficulties and challenges? Well, what do storms do? They bring dirt and debris to the surface. God's ultimate desire is for us to reflect him. So we need to have a clean heart. We need to have pure motives. We need to have right thinking. And so storms are the opportunity for us to see things that we didn't see. And so what should we do when a storm comes? First of all, don't panic. Pray, P-R-A-Y, so that we don't become P-R-E-Y. In Matthew 8, we see a storm and the disciples panicking. Why? Because Jesus was sleeping. When we don't acknowledge Jesus, it's as if he was asleep. So what should we do first thing when difficulties come? Acknowledge Jesus. Receive his direction. He will now begin to calm the storm through the wisdom that he gives us. Secondly, storms are opportunities for us. Seize the moment. It's a time to be proven, not just for our own sake to see where we're at, but for those around us to see God's work in us and through us by how we handle the storm. We see in Matthew 14, when a storm arose, Jesus was not even in the boat. And as he now came walking on water, the disciples were frightened. And that's how we are when Jesus is not in our boat. When he's not the center of our life, we become frightened. But what did Peter do? He stepped out. He began to walk by faith. <laughs> he did something he never did before. A storm gives us the opportunity to increase in faith by action. Finally, we've got to remember, as God's children, God works all things for our good. So we've got to re reflect on that when we're going through the storm. What good are you doing through this? My hope through this devotion is that each of you will just trust in Jesus even the more. God bless you and have a wonderful day.